we have a brand new little adventure today and this is an awesome little creek I had to travel a good ways to get here because everything back home is flooded we had a bunch of rain yesterday uh, but this looks perfect see the water is nice and clear this place looks great if you look closely we might be able to find some arrowheads now here's the thing some research on this area and there was a civil war skirmish right here so there's a good chance that we'll be able to find some civil war artifacts there's also a railroad not too far downstream that we're going to be working our way towards that was here during the civil war uh, so there could be camps from the railroad uh, uh civil war era there could be camps from when they built the railroad and uh there could be battle stuff i'm pretty excited thunderstorms are coming you can see the uh clouds are starting to build hopefully we'll have enough time to find uh i don't know 15 20 bullets a couple belt buckles and a gold coin and uh, an id disc that's all we need i balled a piece of iron when i was walking across here this is i haven't picked it up yet i don't know what that's going to be almost reminds me of some type of is that a trigger <laughs> mm, i don't know it looks almost like a trigger like a, some type of little workman's tool or something but i'm not sure what that is like a caulking gun type thing uh, but anyway i want to show you this first uh, good signal i have right here it's kind of big but it's reading really well so i thought we'd dig this together and get the pinpointer out see if we can pinpoint it probably washed out of this stuff or um well, i guess a flood could have brought it down too but i hope it's not a can or something like that oh there it is <laughs> what is it that looks like it's going to be some type of coppery thing i don't know if it's going to be old or not but we're going to find out what is that that must be definitely not a civil war era item and that could be part of whatever this thing is all right so far not too good but we're just getting into the area where I suspect we should start finding stuff if there's stuff here. So I just walked downstream uh, and the train bridge is right here. The new one and what appears to be the older one. And you ask where the railroad is, that's probably the old bridge. Could be the Civil War era bridge or it could be one slightly later. Uh, but it's going to be really hard to hunt because it looks like it's covered with about four feet of junk. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and, and go to the other side now and work our way back upstream. I just walked through here. I didn't even metal detect this because you can see it's all the leaves and stuff are up here. So tin cans and beer cans and everything like that. So I worked my way through this area and there are very few signals. I found a couple little pieces of iron, but not much at all. Looking in here, I got a nice strong signal. I'll look down and there is what appears to be... Uh, no cast iron skillet or something like that um, So that could definitely date to the Civil War era makes me a little nervous that it's uh, thrown up on the rocks But it could have been placed there naturally by uh, Floods and erosion uh, cork top bottle and I suspect it's going to be broken But at least it is a cork top bottle is it? I don't know and it probably is Get Out of the way yeah 100 percent broken but yeah that would have been a nice old one looks like there's lots of bubbles and not very uh symmetrical so that's a good sign look there's some pottery over here or ceramics so yeah there's stuff in the area then hopefully we'll we'll get some good coins or something out of here huh i hear a troll train a coming a nice solid piece of iron uh, sounded really good now i'm pretty sure these are off the railroad i'm not exactly sure how they were used but i do seem to find them wherever there's railroads nearby so. well i had my first target that might be a keeper it was down there pretty deep in those cobbles and sand some type of little fancy you know buckle or something a woman might wear or a fancy lad might that's <laughs> okay that's a nice little find I'd say we're officially on the board as far as cool artifacts. Not Civil War, but cool. So that's a little piece of uh, pipe, like plumbing pipe. 
can tell it's not a musket barrel because a musket barrel or a pistol barrel or any type of gun barrel would be tapered and that's not tapered and of course you got the little like fittings on the end so always look for a tapered pipe if you think you might have a gun barrel this is right where i picked up that piece of pipe with a magnet and i got another big iron signal so i was digging it up i'm looking at it from here it looks like a big bar of iron of some sort um, which is typical of what you know i expect to find around a railroad but let me put you under so you can take a peek at it i don't know if i can actually pull that out of there it seems to be pretty long but we might try but take a peek first Definitely not just a straight piece. It's got some type of wiki walkie on the end of it that I can't pull up from between the rocks. I'm going to leave it because I'm not going to bring it with me. And I don't recognize it as being anything like military. And it's probably just a piece off that railroad right there. So I'm going to go ahead and cover it back up with some rocks. And if uh, it turns out it was something really cool, we can always come back and get it because we know right where it is. Look what I just found. That is a genuine... 58 caliber mini ball from the American Civil War and it is dropped. Does that mean soldiers were right here waiting around in the water or standing around on the banks or splashing across here under fire and they dropped that. Unfortunately, the water is kind of swirling around here so it's muddy, but if we get some good signals out in that current, I'll get you out. I'll get you out for some underwater action. So I like that just as much as you do, I guarantee right in there is where i found that bullet and you should always look around when you find a drop bullet because there's usually more or there were more i got a nice good signal right about there you know really nice and nice and high on the meter i don't think it's going to be buried under anything very deep i can't see it from here maybe i can actually let's get the pinpointer out i just need you to hold your breath sure what we have here but i'm going to guess it's probably post-civil war era i mean it could be something off of a steam locomotive but i don't know big heavy piece of brass though what a beautiful signal huh that could easily have been a a belt buckle size well it is a belt buckle size piece of brass most awesome another signal here i'm going to put you under four a little bit nervous because it's in an area where there's um you can see there's a lot of lighter stuff but this, it could be a bullet or a belt buckle who knows all right hold on all right you ready Pretty sure that's going to be what we call a carbine sling buckle uh well cavalrymen would use this for the sling that would hold uh their rifle or their carbine when they're riding a horse there's a big leather strap that would go across and on their chest right here instead of having like what we call a breastplate which is a round circle lead filled round circle that you'll see infantry wear and what usually has an eagle on it uh, this is just like a big old buckle 99% sure that's what it is. So that's pretty hopeful, man. You keep your fingers crossed. <laughs> Here you go. A 
little it's a weird construction though i'm not seeing one built exactly like that but i'm well i'm gonna have to step back just a little tiny bit and say i suspect that's what it is it's certainly the right size right shape i've never seen one with that bar going across the middle middle that isn't like a just a solid piece of you know brassy wire you know big heavy gauge wire but um that's what they look like that's the form and function of a carbine sling buckle let's keep our fingers crossed i got another really really high solid signal right there that sounds really good too that's not gonna be a bullet it's gonna be brassy or something like that it could be like a really solid piece of aluminum but um, i'm thinking it might be brass all right i'm gonna put you under Here, it's not a, like a solid beep yet it's still kind of so that tells me where we got a ways to go digging uh, because of the cobbles in here in the sand i'm going to go ahead and turn the camera off for a minute and just kind of use both hands pull everything out of there but i promise to get you out before i pick anything up i'm getting a nice solid beep now with the uh, pin pointer uh, i have not moved it and i don't see anything from here so i'm going to go ahead and put you under and i guarantee you'll be the first to see it when it comes into sight <laughs> <laughs> but that is the top to a probably i guess a drum like a 55 gallon drum type thing i don't know what it's made out of though it's not brass it's more like a white metally type thing but oh well not another not another buckle of any sort no shortage of signals in here i already got another squeaker well it sounded kind of squeaky from the other direction but i went ahead and Worked my way so I was downstream from it so I could dig it and it doesn't sound quite so squeaky now. Let's go ahead and um, let's go ahead and try that now. Oh yeah, that's squeaky now, isn't it? All right, let's see what we got. Uh, I can see it doesn't look good, but I can see it. I don't think that Civil War era Romex or electrical wire. <laughs> well, I guarantee it isn't, but yeah, it's a piece of junk, but it has copper in it. That's why we're getting that squeak. Well, that looks like some sort of little handle to a doodad. <laughs> don't think it's gonna be uh, Civil War era, but I really don't know what it is for sure. We'll throw it in the bag, and if it uh, turns out to be something good, we'll have it. Well, this is a piece of, I would guess, the railroad. That's probably well, don't quote me, but you know, it could be some type of coupler thingy. And is a piece of a plow. That's a plow uh, part right there. And it's just a lot of iron mixed in with these rocks. So I'm not digging any of the big iron anymore. And I'm being really kind of picky on the squeakers too. Unfortunately, it's under a rock. So sometimes that means it could be something really light that's just kind of got wedged up under there. But all right should be right there it's kind of big too unfortunately probably can hold your breath here's a can the top to a can and even though we're in bedrock light things like this will come scooting down during floods and they'll get under those ledgers or under any flat rocks that are there because that creates a low pressure area for them to tuck in and this could be a raging flood that's a raging river that's 15 feet high and it has been if you look up in some of these trees uh, but the can will stay there because it's protected we're not going to let that slow us down don't worry we're going to keep at it i got another little squeaky right here and it is on solid bedrock so uh, whatever it's going to be is going to be heavy not like a piece of aluminum it's going to be you know lead or a piece of well, it's not going to be iron because it's squeaky but it's going to be something worth finding maybe a modern sinker <laughs> Well, I 
was close. It's a uh, probably something someone used to, for a fishing sink or a fishing weight. Flat piece of lead that's been folded over. Uh, but I don't think it's modern. This could very well be Civil War era. No way to say for sure, but it could be. There's something weird there. What's that? I don't know if those are sticks or pieces of metal. Let's go look. Or beaver poo. It's a heavy brass disc of some sort. Don't recognize it as being a, of Civil War vintage, but it looks old. The further I go up this side, the more junk I'm finding. There's like a mason jar lid. Uh, definitely, that's all definitely post-Civil War, so I don't know. We'll go up a little bit further, then we'll, like I said, we'll go down by the bridge. I, it looks like we're not going to have much luck down there finding a spot that we can swing the machine, but good bedrock, just not any uh, good old signals yet, just this kind of stuff. Something there. <laughs> that's plastic or ceramic. Yeah, okay, that's an old piece of an old crock, but all right, we'll keep our eyes open, too. Well, at least we did get another projectile. That looks like a piece of unfired uh, buckshot. That could be from the Civil War era. It could be earlier or later. There's no way we can detect there. Uh, maybe below it, but yikes. <laughs> Feel lucky if the next big storm, it doesn't just completely damn that off and wash the tracks away. Dang. That stuff is thick. I mean, there's no way. I mean, this will always be here until they get a crane or something and pull it out. Wow, what a mess, huh? Oh yeah, we'll get down in there and look around a little bit. Now, I'm gonna, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna learn you something. You notice the limestone uh, blocks there. You can see that there's holes pecked in them. And that is, um, of a manufacturing design so they could pick them up with big tongs with a crane and that tells me that that is post civil war they didn't do that until well after the american civil war so that is not the civil war era bridge nor is that one for sure i'm sure it went across here but apparently there are no signs of the ancient structure from you know 1840s well we might have hit the end of the trail because just down below the bridge and some guys are working with a backhoe or something and they're screaming at each other and they're cursing calling each other just filthy words i don't know if they're mad if they're drunk or they're just goofing off but i don't think i'm going to go down there um where they're at they're actually just around the bend there i, I don't like hanging around drunk people like that that are mad <laughs> if you know what i mean She'll shake the coins from your pocket, take your gold chain and your locket. Mother Earth has no sympathy. She'll take the ring from your hand and bury it in the sand.